All right, so in this video, we're going to be drawing velocity versus time graphs. And there's actually a slight problem with this, the way it's written. It just says draw a motion graph. That should really be more specific. Um, motion can really be position or velocity or acceleration. Um, We've got to be more specific. So a velocity versus time graph. So remember on a velocity versus time graph, it's really about a couple things, the positive and negative areas. So this positive area here, this represents travel to the right because it has a positive velocity, and the negative area is the negative direction, which is usually associated with the left. Remember also that the further you get away from zero, the faster you're going. So when you're on the zero line, you're not moving at all, and if you're really far away from it, like up here or down here, you're moving pretty fast. So that's how we're going to start this problem. So here we have a car starts at rest. So we always begin with time zero. We start at the beginning because that's, you know, when you hit the stopwatch, you, you begin at zero time. So at the beginning, the car is at rest. So the first part is going to be it's just moving. It's not moving, so its velocity is at zero for some time. Then it accelerates to the right. So it's going to start traveling to the right, and we're going to always assume um, for this class constant acceleration. So it's always going to be a straight line as far as it accelerating. So it's going to start going faster. So it's going to move away from zero at a constant rate. It says until it hits 30 meters per second. Now, nowhere on this graph are there, there are points, there are the numbers. If we want, we can say, okay, let's call this 30. So then when it hits 30, it reaches max speed. It's going to go at a constant speed. So it will be a straight line from that point on. So all the travels to the right, because we never go into this area down here, the left area. So it's going to the right, it's going at a constant speed for some time, and this is the velocity versus time graph, graph for this situation. Here's a slightly different situation. We have a runner jogging to the left at constant speed. So we'll assume at the beginning they are jogging to the left. So we're going to start at a negative velocity down below a constant speed. Um, again, I don't know how fast this is, there's no labels, but I just chose to start there. Now he's slowing down, so if he's slowing down, he's going closer to zero, because he goes to his zero speed, it says briefly stops. So then I'm going to have a flat point where he stops briefly, then he walks to the right at a constant speed. So there'll be a quick jump as he gets going to the right, but then it says there's a constant speed. Now how quickly you make this jump um, it's really up to you. Um, sometimes you can even have a vertical line, which is technically not possible, but that just shows that he, he gets immediately going at a fast, at a constant speed to the right. Either way, I think you can make a, a sort of slope and then it's going to flat line because he's walking to the right. Constant speed, constant distance from this. So this could be, you know, something like two meters per second, which is a pretty normal walking speed. So anyway, this is a little trickier than matching graphs. Um, but the idea is just always remembering what are we graphing. We're graphing velocity, so when the velocity is flat, that represents a constant speed, and when the velocity is changing, he's accelerating. So in this case, he's slowing down here because it's getting closer to zero, and here this is also constant. Remember, the slope of a velocity graph is the acceleration, so when the slope is zero, that's a constant speed. So these take a little bit of practice. Um, you know, try the worksheet, try to match up your answers, see how you do, but um, hopefully this gets you in the right direction. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.